Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And I keep hearing people say how many things are so hard during this COVID era, and I'm raising both hands. <laughs> I totally agree with you having to shift everything and find new ways and remember not to try things the old way because it's not even available anymore and wearing a mask and being sure I've washed my hands, keep my distance and all of those things that you're doing, I'm doing, and I hope more and more of us are doing, trying to work from home, worried if we even have a job that we're going to be able to work from home, um, paying rent, making sure there's food, cooking, maybe getting just really tired of cooking and homeschooling and meeting after meeting on Zoom, just getting Zoomed out. And here in the United States, we're going on about eight months now, long time. And the research and psychologists and sociologists, people all from all different areas and, and studies are saying that we have a, a length of time that we're able to just do what needs to be done in terms of being flexible. We have a certain length of time that we can be dedicated to being careful, to remembering different things that we need to do. And those new things don't become a routine. What they actually become is a source of hypervigilance. Oh, am I remembering my mask? Oh, am I remembering this? Oh, did I remember to do that? Did I do that part of the project? Is that getting done? What have I not gotten done? What's that I can do something about, things I can't do something about? And it's your bucket, your basket, your closet. Everything just starts getting full. And that's happening more and more. And as we get so full, we forget, we forget what's the reason we're doing this? Does it matter? The numbers are still going up. What, what's the use? And we get tired of our new routine because our new routine doesn't usually have a whole bunch of fun built into it. It has a whole bunch of have to's, must do, ought to do, should do don't want to do's and some things get easier and the routine and the habit just become part of our lifestyle. Other things don't. Other things, it's harder to accept. It's harder to be willing to contribute, to be part of. In the beginning, it was new, it was novel. We were scared. And now, as we're living in our, our bubbles and we're wanting to try to have our life together as much as possible, sometimes it just, we just want to quit. Throw our mask away, peel off our gloves and just run away. And then we remember, where can we run? Where can we run that we feel safe? And then we pull ourselves back to our routine. Well, I am offering today that as much as you can, if you can, if you will, that you close your eyes, exhale, lower your shoulders, take a moment, a cloud time, 
an eyelasher too. However long you can manage to just be mindful. For some people, meditation works. For other people, it doesn't. So if you meditate and that will help clear your mind, perfect. If meditation doesn't seem to be your cup of tea or something that you really want to do, then by all means, just see what you can do to think about whatever you want that will help you clear your mind. Yesterday, it was very windy and I was walking outside and I noticed that we have a snowball bush and the leaves had turned red and yellow in different colors and that was my touch of fall and I watched those leaves for just a few minutes. I was able to set everything aside, just listen to the wind, watch the leaves go back and forth, and then the wind would speed up and they would go faster. And then I would watch them slow down again and go faster and faster. If you can find your form of watching the leaves blow, your part of what the wind would feel like, whatever it is, just to draw your focus to something really, really simple and hang on to that. Not desperately, hold it gently in your hand. If your mind wanders, which mine did, just bring it back to the leaves and the wind or whatever you are focusing on. And while you are doing that, if you will, watch your life just a little bit. Don't deeply go down a rabbit hole. Just kind of watch. Notice if there's something that seems easy, even in the midst of all of this. See if there's some little something that felt relaxing. You may have to search. You may not be able to do it in just these few minutes. So just during the day, Notice if there's anything that feels easy. Don't compare it to the past. Just right here and now in the present, anything that feels easy or went well, went better than you imagined, got done sooner, felt better to you, your mind relaxed a little, Anything that you can find that is different from the past, that is in the present, and helps your mind not quite be so full. Give it a whirl. Try it. And I hope that you will keep yourself very safe and those around you as safe as possible. I am Amina, I am your decision-making specialist, and I am here to help you have a smoother, happier life in the midst of no matter what. All right, come back. I will be here, and I will be watching for you. All right, bye for now.